Right now on Today in New York, crime in Central Park has reached a high. And overnight, another incident that's causing concerns about safety. We are live with those details. Plus, how Kamala Harris's running mate is responding after criticism about his military record that's ahead in the race for the White House. And a first in the nation face covering ban set to be signed into law in Nassau County today. Morning, everybody. Wednesday morning. It is August 14th. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. And I'm Pat Battle. And for Marco Gargiulo on this Wednesday morning, happy to be here with you, my so friend. So nice it's been to a see long you. Time, a long time. We love our Pat. And we, 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 <laughs> I love my team, all of y'all, <laughs> our team. And uh, we've got Emily West here. She's tracking the roads and the rails. And Storm Team Force Maria LaRosa is here, too. She's got today's forecast, which I is lovely. Do, which is lovely. Yeah, nice. we're still comfortable. It's still clear, nice and dry out there. And uh, right now, it's a beautiful view from Brooklyn. Look toward lower Manhattan. I want to go for right now on today in New York Central Park crime. Another robbery reported overnight amid growing concerns over safety. Plus a first of its kind mask man being signed into law today on Long Island. What it could mean for you and booted from the New York ballot. Independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy shares his next plan amid the dispute over where he really lives. Morning, everybody. Wednesday morning. It is August 14th. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. And I'm Pat Battle. Michael Gargiulo has the morning off. And Emily's in for Adele. She's tracking the roads and the rails. And, of course, Storm Team 4's Maria La Rosa here with today's <laughs> forecast. Hey, lady. I'm here. Yeah. yeah, and it's another beauty. I have an easy job this morning to tell you about how nice it's feeling out there. And visibility looks good so far. So good as we look over the Hudson and the Governor Mario M. Como Bridge. Pleasantly cool once again. We're at 64 degrees in White Plains, 67 at Central Park. We're still in the 50s. Peace.